Got it. Good. Bring it back to me right away. You're going to be a hero around here. Hey, you! Come over here! I'm on the antenna! Do you see me? I'm up here! I need your help!
So, I think it's safe to say that Rice isn't the most popular person in town, huh? No, but he is the most feared. And you know the old saying, it is better to be feared than loved if one cannot be both. Ah, uh, Machiavelli. Correct. Smart fellow, that one. Here are the blueprints. Excellent. You're a lot more dependable than most of these drunks. Rise is waiting for you. Maybe we can work together again sometime. God, I hope not. If you show them compassion, they will see it as weakness. Understand? I give you shelter, I give you bread, women, bullets, and you cannot do the task. I should send every one of you to the pit. Ah, the tower lackey returns. Do you have something for me, friend? Yes, I do. Now it's time for you to give me what you promised. Two crates of Andesan. I think not. Your loyalty to the tower is nothing but blind obedience, Crane. A coward's submission to false hierarchies. You follow their rules as thoughtlessly as you follow mine, like a good little dog. Look, we had a deal. Your people need the Anthazine. Now, more than ever, I would surmise. But a man who follows someone else's rules is no man at all. Here, I will allow you this much. You promised me two crates of it. This is only five vials. 
If you want more, I present you with an opportunity. The athlete, the Scorpion, Jade Aldemir. She's one of your number. Bring her to me. I have an arena where men fight for our amusement. I would have this Scorpion fight for us. I'm curious how long it will take for someone of her caliber to uh, break. What? No. No, forget it. I'm not doing it. I hear no true conviction in your voice, Crane. You have not yet made your choice, I can tell. Will you be a dog and save the dwellers of the tower? Or will you be a man and save the maiden? Go and think about it. here. Report. I'm no longer cooperating with Rise. He wanted me to kidnap Jade Aldemir and dump her with him so he can make her fight in his pit. Yes, and? Was that it? What do you mean, was that it? I'm not a fucking human trafficker. You seem to have forgotten how much is riding on this file, Crane. If Rise wants one girl, then give her to him. You'll be there to keep an eye on her, won't you? What the... What the fuck kind of humanitarian outfit are you guys? And for that matter, if this project file can save the world, why keep it a fucking secret? We're not paying you to be insubordinate, Crane. Get this done. 
done. Fuck you, asshole. Any guess what happened? None. Our gas man here up and quit on us last week. He was kind of irreplaceable. Maybe I can track him down. Make maybe definitely get on it fast. Word is he's built up his own little fortress somewhere behind the train station.
Brecken, this is Crane. Do you copy? Brecken, do you copy? Shit. Jade, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, how much antisense did you get? Listen, Rice wanted me to... He's... Look, he screwed us, okay? I only got five vials. What? Damn it! That's only a few days' worth. Listen, Crane, we've got a situation here. There's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. Get back here ASAP, and don't lose any of that antisen. Hey, have you seen that house with the red smoke pouring out of it? If Rise's people spot it, they're gonna come knocking on his door. Someone ought to warn him. Look, I've got enough trouble right now, but I'll think about it. Come here. I've got a special deal for you. Rice sees everything. What's on your mind? Mr. Crane, are you familiar with a man named Vulcan Yasif Dahl? Vulcan Dahl? Yeah, of course. He owns Vulcan Petrol Engineering. He's the richest man in Iran. That's exactly right. And Mr. Dahl has need of your service. I didn't know he was still in the city. Most of his employees were evacuated, but his two chief engineers are still here in the slums. They're brothers. Twins, in fact. Tolga and Fatin. They've been working on a special project. It's highly confidential, and I'm afraid I can't discuss it. But I can assure you its importance is nearly beyond measure. Oh, then I won't bother trying to measure it. The brothers are brilliant engineers, but they're also somewhat, uh, idiosyncratic. This, and the problems of operating in the current environment, have put them behind schedule. Mr. Dahl would like you to assist them to get the project back on track. You will be well compensated, as you can imagine. Doing what? Simply do as they ask. You'll only be needed from time to time, and the task will be of short duration. Removing obstacles, you might say. They'll contact you when your assistance is required. I'll think about it. There's a lot to be done around the tower. I hope you find some time to take a look at the board. What's up? You know Jafar, right? The one from the garage? He's looking for a good runner. For what? He wouldn't talk about it on the radio. I think it's something important. Hmm. Okay.
Check for the mud cars. They can save your life. Jade just told me there's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. I've got to get what little antis and I have back to the tower pronto. Espero que me toque decir que no voy a hacer lo que me mandó ese tal Raiz. Si no me ha secuestrado a Jade. Do you have the antis in? Give it to me. So what happened? One person turned and had a couple of other people trapped. We could have sealed off that one apartment, but Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call, and now we've lost the entire floor, including... including a couple of kids. You'd better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to Lina. Hey, Crane. It's good to see you. What happened here, it's so very sad. Here, you in here? Help me. Tell me what's wrong. I can't move. My chest feels like it's going to explode. Are you turning? No, no. I took antizin and the pain started. The vial is on the floor. What you took is junk. What? It's fake. Where did you get this from, Bahir? Please, I need a doctor. First, tell me who sold you that. I can't, I promised. This guy is very useful. He brings me things from the outside. Yeah, like phony antizin? People could be giving this to their kids. You want them to go through this? No! God, no! Then tell me who sold it to you. Yusuf. He's one of the scouts. He lives on the roof. Okay, I'll get Dr. Lena. Oh, please, hurry! What happened? Did you kill him? What? No. Look, he's not turning, but he needs a doctor. I thought he was turning. We should still keep an eye on him. If he needs a doctor, you should get the doctor. You better have a look at this. The lot number's wrong. Is this a fake? Someone on 21 took it, and now he can't even get off the floor. Aman, get down to 21 now. Where did he get it from? Yusuf. He's one of the scouts. Well, he can't be producing it here. Someone's supplying him. I'll have a talk with Yusuf. The sooner the better. Don't hurt him. Just talk to him.
This is where we get the announcements about the anticine drops. And they've just stopped. There were kids in there! I'm frozen. Lena had to step up. Maybe she should be in charge. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor. Wait, so all the free running. Wait, that was you? Brecken, you showed these people how to survive. Do you know who my pockets were full of when I showed up in Haran? Fucking business cards. I was hoping to drum up some more students. Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Listen. I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa, H hang on a minute. Reckon these people still need you. Okay, just, just give me some time, alright? There's, there's gotta be another way. A better way. Fine. I'll wait. But not for long. Finally, I get to do some actual good. If we had more traps set in the city, traveling would be easier. You want Antisee? 
Forget about the drops. Talk with rice. Raheem? Raheem, what are you doing up here? Hey, Crane. Can I trust you? <laughs> How much you had to drink, kid? Can I or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? See that skyscraper? The scout found a volatile nest in there. We take that out, and then running missions at night, we could totally do that. So I'm thinking, if we planted some explosives... Oh, Jesus, Raheem, you're not still on that. Crane, we have to do this. As long as that nest is there, we'll never be able to gather up enough antis. It would work. We make a good team. Ah! Shit, oh my... Ah! Don't drop me! Don't drop me! Oh, fuck. <laughs> See? Told you we make a good team. Look, Raheem, we don't have any explosives. I mean, none. The closest thing to what you're talking about are Spike's firecrackers. It, that, it's impossible. You don't know what it's like. All I can do is watch. Sit on my ass and watch everything happen and do nothing. I don't want to die here, Krim. Not like this, not helpless. If I go out, I'd rather go out doing something. What's this? I was set to fly out on Sunday. They quarantined us on Thursday. I already had my bags packed. I'll... Get, look, I'll keep my eyes open, okay? If there's some way we can make this happen. Whatever. This is Crane, do you copy? What do you want, Crane? I want you to start the antizen drops again, at least near the tower. These people need help. We put you in Haran to find our file, not to play Mother Teresa. Or does this mean you've reconsidered Rise's proposal? Perhaps Miss Aldemir would even be willing to cooperate, test her skills in a new environment. You start giving us some antizen and then... then we'll talk about what Rise wants. Oh, it's us now, is it? Well, I'm afraid your request is out of the question in any case. Things have gotten a bit strained with the Ministry. Resuming the airdrops would not be politically advantageous at the moment. Well, you assholes take the fucking cake, you know that? You and your fucking file. Look, I'll locate the file for you, but I'm gonna take a good long look at it before I decide what to do about it. Loud and clear, what can I do for you? I don't know how much time we have, so the short version. I need your help. Rice has turned an abandoned school into a supply dump. And I think it may be where he's storing his antizen. If you and I sneak in there, we could get all the meds the tower needs. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Great. Look for me in one of the boxcars on the train trestle near the school. Okay. And listen, Jade. If we don't find that Antison, I'll need to talk to you about something. About what? Another option, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. 
Right now, let's see what we can find in that school. Yusuf? Welcome to Yusuf's Emporium. If it's hard to find, you need to find Yusuf. Whatever your needs, Yusuf has it all. Yeah, I'm looking for Antizen. Well, of course you are. My friend, this is your most lucky day. No, Yusuf, it's your lucky day. Because I'm going to give you a chance to come clean and tell me where you got that counterfeit junk you sold to Bahir. Bahir? Bahir, you say? Do I know this, Bahir? He nearly died from that phony Antizen you sold him. Phony? Are you sure? You're saying it's no good. I just bought ten vials from those guys. I paid good money. Which guys? Well, that's kind of a sensitive issue. Which guys, Yusuf? I'm running out of patience. There's a building next to the drugstore. A couple of survivors live there. I don't know how many. I've never been inside. They have medicines. Some of them are real. I guess from the drugstore. They also cook their own stuff. The guy I deal with is named Bento. All right, now you're going to burn the rest of those vials. But they cost me a lot of money. It'll cost you a lot more if I find you peddling that junk anymore. Go ahead. We found two more vials of that fake antazin. Reckon it's boiling mad. Yeah, I'll bet. How's Bahir? Wait! He's dead. But if we'd gotten to him ten minutes later, he wouldn't be. This stuff is lethal, Crane. Putting them out of business is your number one priority. Right, understood. We'll get killed collecting empty pill bottles. We are waiting for you. You want to ask Bento? Yes. Yeah, I hear you're selling Antizen. He's crazier than Who told you that? A little bird? Not just the same person who told me you've been cooking up garbage and putting it in fake vials. Garbage? My formula is 50 times better than that crap they drop in boxes. Not only does it keep you healthy, it gives you super strength, incredible speed, and laser eyes. I could burn you with one look if I wanted to. I'm shutting you down, Bento. Yeah. Yusuf said you'd try to make trouble. 
Yeah, well, Yusuf was right. And you're fucking dead! Somebody turned on the antenna towers. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank <laughs> you. 